Hello, this is Dilip here. I am going to explain briefly on the usage of SQLi API while doing automation testing using Selenium WebDriver. We all are facing number of problems while doing automation using Selenium WebDriver because there are number of situations where we can't automate using only WebDriver interface and the classes which are inheriting this one or implementing this one, sorry, implementing this one. So for that we have number of APIs. API means a Java class or it can be a function or method anything which helps to interact between two system. So here I am going to explain briefly on the usage of SQL API which we use while doing automation using Selenium WebDriver. Where exactly we need this SQL API? So for that I have given two examples here where we need the usage of this API. So there may be number of other situations where we will need this API but for the time being I am going to explain these two so you all will get a brief idea on usage of SQL API. So let's start with one like how to control videos on a web application for example i have given youtube here so in youtube we used to play a number of videos so while playing any video we used to see a dynamic button like skip ad it used to come at the beginning of the video and it vanishes after few times sorry few seconds so I want to click on that skip ad just after clicking on the video to view that one means at the beginning I want to skip that ad for that how I can use SQL API let's see here let me open Eclipse IDE and create a java project as sequely uses uh, yeah actually just before few seconds i have created one package and i have added some external jar files so it's coming by default here so what exactly external jars we need here let me show you those this is the uh, by default jar files which will be added to your project these are java jar files and except that you need to externally add all the jar files these are jar files for WebDriver and SQL API. This one, this one is for SQL API. All these are for WebDriver, and this is one you need while using SQL API. This Java jar file you will need because while you are using SQL API, at that time some binding problem happens. For that, you will get some error message. Although your pro program pass and suc run successfully still you get some type kind of error message to uh, avoid those you need to import this external jar file as well so how you add jar files you all must be knowing like click right click here you can go through build path configure build path here libraries are here add external jars here I have added these are I am showing you selenium training yeah these are these two and these many all these are for web driver and this is the SQL jar file SQL API 1.0.2 hyphen standalone dot jar and this one which I told just now like to 
avoid some kind of error while using SQL API. You need to import this jar file. This is one jar file for Java. So I have integrated all those here. So I don't need to add any more. Now I will create one Java class here. So I am giving its name like video control. Fine. Sorry. Let me right click new class yeah video controller okay and uh, let me find my oh sorry there was one file already before that's why it's not it is not let me delete this one not maybe I yeah this is the class i have just created just now and uh, let me get my code from here i don't want to waste time by typing all this again so just take from here and paste those here fine now we need to import packages here let me do all this this case you are seeing number of packages to be imported so just import the SQL packages not any other no more error your program is now completely error free so let's start from here these many packages are imported here so let's start from beginning first line is about initializing a object of firefox driver by initializing this firefox browser will open up next is driver dot manage dot window to maximize using that driver of means firefox driver class object i'm calling all these methods to maximize the window means firefox window initially it should be in minimized form so after executing this line that will be maximized so next line is about calling get method and using driver object driver is the object of firefox driver class so mm, just uh, calling get method and here i am passing my url as a parameter so what will happen after executing this line the mm, the system will be navi navigated to this url so this much of code is all about web driver nothing like till now we have not used sql api means classes of sql api so let let's start from here this part is completely about sql api so first one is creating a object of desktop screen region class and screen region 
super class uh, reference is pointing to that object so it's all about creating a object of desktop screen region class next after creating a object of this class what we are doing next in next step we are creating a object of image target class for that we are passing a object of file class as parameter again how to create a file class object for that you need to pass a file path as parameter so it's a string type parameter okay so what we are doing we are creating a object of image target for that we are passing a file class object as parameter again to create the file class object we are passing a string as parameter the string is nothing but a path of a file that file is nothing but a image why we need need this image uh, to focus a particular area on a web page so uh, this pro program is all about clicking on skip add button while playing a video on youtube site you almost have seen like while playing a video there used to be a add and at the in starting and one virtual button like skip add used to come if user click on that skip add then add will be skipped and directly the actual content will be played if user do not click on that sorry user does not click on that skip add button then then that ad will be played first then the actual content of the video so here i am just trying to click on that skip add button just after clicking uh, playing the video so that user will able to watch the actual content instead of watching the ad so here i am passing uh, here i am just keeping the screenshot of that skip ad button and you need to save it as in dot png format and you can store it at any place in your system but it's a better idea in it's a better way to add this in a folder in same level where your source folder is so I am adding images folder here so and inside this inside this folder I want to keep the image file let me I have already that image file let me open this image and what exactly I want to do here let me show you here Welcome to the Busy Beavers collection of shapes, so songs, chants, and lessons. So how to click on that skip ad button? Because Island Shapes Groove! Circle, square, triangle, rectangle. I have just taken the screenshot of that skip ad where I clicked just now. So let me put that inside this image folder. It's in SQLi package. Inside SQLi package, we have two folders SRC folder and images folder. Inside images folder, I will keep that. In 
inside that image folder images folder i will keep the image file let me get that i have that as well sorry yeah here is the image let me keep that inside my browser that is simply a pay usage servers siculi uses yeah it's in dot png format and it's nothing but the screenshot of the that skip add part so you just keep that one so that you can provide this image to siculi api he can recognize it and click on that one to skip the hard part okay this is on skip part so next is i just kept it here keep it here refresh this one you can now see that skip part is here okay so now i just keep the file here i need to give the path exact path securely uses under that images under that skip dot png this is the path so here we are creating a object of target class so the image target class passing um, a object of file class as parameter and to create the object of file class we are passing the path of my image as a string type parameter next what we are doing we are giving a wait here there is a function called wait under this desktop screen region class so we are using its object to call that wait method there we have to pass target target means uh, this object image target class object and the how many milliseconds you need to wait so target means uh, here my target is now skip png because i have passed that as my argument so it will wait 80 second uh, it's it will say uh, wait 80000 millisecond to in maximum in maximum it will wait 80000 millisecond else it will wait till it get that it gets that skip add button if it get get it it gets it before that 80000 millisecond then it will uh it will uh, move to next step else it will wait for maximum 80000 millisecond ne in next step what i am doing i'm just finding out that target for that i am using finding find sorry find method and i am calling that method by using the object of desktop screen region class and passing image target class object as parameter so now what will happen after this line your mouse pointer will move to that particular add sorry skip add button so here it is for waiting for let me expand it here it is for waiting for a target to appear on desktop screen and time out after 80 seconds 80000 millisecond or 80 seconds and here it is for locating the target image in the desktop screen so now this is finding sorry this is targeting waiting for the target to appear sorry this one and this is to 
give the special re specific region where exactly we need to do the action next this point is to wait that particular target to be appeared and this is where we are locating the target means we are con moving our mouse control so mouse pointer to that particular element next step what we are doing to make it bit clear for user we are using converse class object sorry desktop converse class object and we are creating a desktop converse class object then we are adding our screen region uh, to that can I means we are adding our screen region to the canvas canvas by using add box method <coughs> sorry for that <coughs> excuse me yeah we are adding canvas dot add box we are uh, using the object of can desktop canvas class and calling the add box method and passing object of screen region class and in next step the what will do this no, this will highlight that particular uh, skip at bottom how it will you can see while I will be running the code so in next step we are adding a label near to that for that you need to use object of desktop canvas class and call the add label method and have to pass Uh, you have to pass object of screen region means uh, that screen region contains the specific area of the screen and what kind of message you want to show here I want to show like we found that image so we are going to select we found it so what this three line what will do yeah after that you need to display that one then only that uh, text will be displayed we found it means after three seconds three means your time so after three seconds that uh, sorry uh, display the canvas for sorry it will show the uh, display the canvas for three seconds after that it will go away so these four lines uh, nothing but we are adding a we are highlighting the skip add button then we are adding a message there like we found it then we are showing that message uh, for three seconds only in just next line what we are doing I have used a condition here like if r equal to equal to null that means if we don't have any uh, if uh, r is pointing to n nothing means r is having a value like null means we don't have any target means we do not we do not get the actual skip add button then it will print a message like system out dot print l not found means we do not found that image else else what it will do mouse yeah sorry uh, yeah mouse we are creating an object of uh, desktop mouse class desktop mouse class then we are use, uh, using that mouse object using that mouse object sorry using that object we are click calling the click method and where we are passing uh, this as parameter what exactly we are doing is we are calling the get center method using the object of screen region class 
so what exactly this will do it will take the mouse to that particular object and then it will take it to center of that particular object and click on that so overall what we are covering here means this part is all about opening the firefox browser and navigating to this url this part is all about locating the target means where exactly we are going to do the action this part is all about highlighting that part with some valid messages and this part is all about clicking on that part here we are doing the clicking even and for that we are taking the mouse cursor pointer to that particular location and clicking on that button so this is all about controlling the video files videos on a web application let me run this code so that you will get a better picture New Lego Star Wars sets. The Wookiees are under attack. You can build the ATAP to defend them. The droid gunships are attacking. Load the new spring loaded shooter and fire. The new Lego Star Wars sets. Go to lego.com slash Star Wars to see more battles. Ask your parents first. stop this one and run it again yeah this is what is exactly happening let me see Yeah, here you can see it highlights that one then show a message that we found it and it clicked on that one so now instead of playing that ad it's playing the actual video so this is what my program is meant for let me close this I have not closed the object that's why I have to close the browser to close the whole process so this is all about controlling the videos on a web application using SQL API next I have another program to attach file in email body while composing a bo email in suppose using gmail in gmail you are composing a mail there you want to attach a file for that you will need that code so i don't let me show that here you can use this code here what exactly i have done for that this part is all about clicking logging into the system sorry into the gmail then com clicking on compose mail then 
send his to the to the to field then clicking on cc and adding a email id to cc then next i have to give the subject for the email for that then message body but here my focus is on attaching a file for that what i have done this part so what exactly i have done here i have created a object of desktop screen region same what i have done while controlling the video files so i have created a object of desktop screen region then next i have created object of desktop mouse and desktop keyboard these three objects i have created here next tell securely which part of the desktop it should target so for that i have created an object of image target and there i have passed a file class object as parameter and for that to pass file class object as parameter you need to sorry to create a object of file class you need to pass a string and that string should content should not should be the path of the file where you want to target so there i have given the select file dot png image this image contains nothing nothing but the attach button while uh, you must have seen it's present there while composing a mail there we have attach button so i need to click on that one first so i have given that as target then target the region then i need to target the to again i need to pass that object of this target class to the find method as uh, sorry i need to pass that target class as parameter and using that uh, sorry using the object of desktop screen region class um, i have to call the find method here yeah. so same steps what i was doing there as well is while controlling the video files next what i have to do is i have to click on center of it so for that i use mouse so i have already created the object of mouse class here a desktop mouse class object here so i am using that here only click on region get center same steps so it will click on that one In next step what i am after clicking on that one window will open up so there i need to put the path of my file so what exactly i did means i same way i create the target class object then for uh, uh, screen region particular i find this use the find method to target the region and next i use the mouse click class to uh, sorry click method to click on that um, text field where i will be writing the path then on next step i use the object of keyboard class type my path so all these are done here and now i have typed everything next step i have to click on open button so for that again i have to target the open so for that here i am using a another image dot png image which keeps which is nothing but the screenshot of open button so then i target that one and i click on that one now my attachment is done and next step i am using this line only to click on send button so that it will be sent so let me run this program i have already written it before so i don't want to waste time by typing all this again so let me run that program here is the program here is the complete program same thing what i was showing over here on that notepad same thing so let me run it here so while i am running what it will do in first step it will logs it will log into it will open the browser 
next we will maximize it then it will type username and password click on sign in now it logs in and next step it will click on compose button then it will type email id is in tools and cc fields then it will give a subject then it will add some content to the body then it will click on this attach button and on next step it's just uh, typing the path and clicking on open button now you can see let me show you here in send mail this is the new email gets sent and here it types all this thing and attach the file and send it so I have given my email ID so I, I must have received one email new email let me refresh my inbox yeah this is the new email this is the file I had attached so you can download it from this is the file and this is was the content of my email so this is what you can control using simply selenium web driver because selenium web driver is to handle the web app only not to handle the desktop label of persons like while you are clicking on attach button then one window is getting open there you need to type the path and open all those things can be handled only using selenium web drivers for that you need to use this affiliate api so just try to find some other usage of selenium sorry sequely and practice those that will be really helpful for you guys thank you this much for the timing